Okay, we've got a lot to talk about today. We've got the app update, version 1.6, and we have the shock drop. But first of all, let's go hit up some dead stock stations. Okay, so I am super confused. My head is gone. So a recap of today. First of all, Aglet version 1.6 drops first thing this morning. I'm like, damn, I need to make a video on this. I've written down my changes and I'll explain those to you in a minute, but we've had just a madness happen today. So at about 11 a.m., the NMD drop happened. Aglet uploaded this image to Instagram and I went crazy, got on the chat, started putting these into my spreadsheet, and they're insane. So yeah, my head's a bit mangled right now, but we got three shoes. The Pharrell Human Race Crystal Whites, the Pharrell Human Race Sands, and the Pharrell Human Race Dash Green. Now the Sand and the Crystal White are pretty decent for their price, but these Dash Greens are absolutely bonkers. In terms of sneaker shine and dead stocking, they're the second most efficient shoe in Shop 4.0. Second most efficient purchasable shoe in Shop 4.0, I should say. So the Crystal Whites will earn you 10K when using sneaker shine and just over 12K when using dead stock stations. The Sands will earn you 10K when using sneaker shine as well, but just under 18K when using dead stock stations. But now the big boys, the Dash Greens, the second most efficient purchasable shoe in Shop 4.0. They'll earn you a big boy 55K aglet profit when using sneaker shine and 73 thousand aglet profit when using dead stock stations and you can get as many as you want because you're allowed to buy five percent of the total number in the batch and five percent of these is 388 pairs and 388 times 30,700 aglet is basically 12 million aglet and i think there's only one player who's anywhere near having that lifetime earnings his name is cncr so yeah i think you're making a big mistake if you aren't copying these now originally these did disappear they were up for about 20 minutes and then they were gone from the shop. And let me tell you, I was fuming. When all the shoes dropped, I bought them instantly. And then I went onto my spreadsheet, worked everything out, came back in and I was just telling everyone on the Discord, buy these, buy these, buy these, they're insane. Went to buy myself a second pair and they were gone. And then you had Dave in the Discord saying, yeah, well, you should have been quicker. You should have bought them when you had the chance, blah, blah, blah. They're all gone. This is how Agla works now. And then about five hours later, they ended up just coming back. So they may well be in the shop. They may well not be. I don't know what's happening with these shoes, but if they're there, just buy them because they're sick. The Dash Greens, that is. And actually probably the Sands, because I think everything between the Dash Greens and the Sands has sold out for efficiency. So I'd say if you can't afford the Dash Greens, get the sands, then use the money that you've earned from the sands to buy the dash greens. So now that all that madness is done with, I'd like to push that aside and thank Valentin and Dirt for the help contributing to my spreadsheet. I've had quite a busy week and I wasn't able to fill in some stuff in my spreadsheet that I wanted to do. That was the date of the first release of the shoes and add the shops that the batches of the shoes have come in and sorting each shop's drops. It's a bit complicated, but those guys have smashed it this week. They've helped me out with that and I'd just like to say thank you very much. And because of the help, they have access to my spreadsheet for the rest of time. So never again will they ever have to wonder about the efficiency of a shoe, if it's good to buy, if the profit's any good. They will have all that data in front of them. And now finally, on this mental day, we have the changes that have come in Aglet version 1.6. So firstly, the bottom purple bar is now separated. Clicking on your profile picture takes you straight to your profile section, whereas before it took you to the step tracker slash menu here. You can use two fingers to zoom in on the shoes image on the shoes info page. To see your step bar charts, you now press the bottom right of the screen where the bar chart logo is, instead of where the bar chart used to be next to your daily steps and your Aglet earned. And speaking about that, there's a visual change on the steps and Agla earned. They've gone for a more symmetrical look now. The shelf and shop filter is now on the bottom right of your screen, not by the search bar at the top like it used to be. And now the big change, a new feature, Sneaker Soda is now here. This is a consumable product and it boosts your earn rate for a limited amount of time. I'd say this is definitely best used in the first few percentages of a shoe, especially when walking outdoors and getting boost rate steps. But it must be known that Sneaker Soda does not increase the potential earnings from 
promise you. And the fact that sneaker soda costs to make you earn the same amount in the end makes it not worth it for me personally, but if you're rushing to earn aglet for a shop drop, then this may be worth it for you. So yeah, you'll earn your aglet faster, but your durability will go down faster as well. So just keep it in mind. You're not spending 380 aglet to then get an extra 500 aglet from the shoe. If you and your mate both get dash greens, you'll both earn the same amount of aglet back from them, even if one of you blasts through the shoe with sneaker soda. And finally, the glitch where you could open locations when you weren't at the locations through your notifications is now fixed. So you can no longer drive past a stash, open it up when you get home. So that's the video. I'd like to thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like the video and I'll see you in a bit. Peace.